We've now moved scenes. Rather than out on the docks, our crew has moved deeper into the caves, seeking out the source of these fishmen. And they've on this beach, and they've found this wreckage, and they know the fishmen are nearby. But let's talk about the effort that it's going to take to accomplish a few things in this scene. So in ICRPG, one of the core innovations is this concept of effort. And effort is simply consolidates variations and outcomes of successful attempts into something that's a little bit more straightforward and just more consistent across the board. It kind of expands about what you see in dealing damage to other things and accomplishing different things. Like you're dealing damage to different, to different tasks at hand. So let's go over the basics of different types. So the first one is basic effort. Now a basic effort you roll with a d4 and this is when you're using your bare hands or your wits. Um, things like punching or bending bars with your muscles or deciphering something with a, with a code or a different translation or you know magically encrypted. You're using basic effort. Just your, your sheer natural abilities is your basic. So for example, we have this chest here, right? While these fishermen are coming up, JD's like, ooh, ooh, maybe I want to go for here. I'm going to run up and I'm going to try to, you know, tear open this chest and just open it, but it's locked. So the first thing he does is he grabs it with his bare hands and he just tries to rip the, the chest open and break through the lock, you know, with his sheer muscles. So he tries to, you know, if we think it needs to uh, check or an attempt, we roll that D20 to see if he gets purchase on it. Or we say, no, there's no question you can do it. You just move straight into effort. And so JD comes in and he rolls, you know, that D4 gets four effort on it. And now this is a one heart chest. So we've applied four points of effort to that chest, like four points of damage, you could say, uh, to opening that chest. And so once we get to 10, then we get there. And I'll talk about hearts and efforts um, in a second. Let's say Drew comes over in here and says, hey, why are you why are you using your hands on this? Well, let's let's use your, your sword. Let's grab grab our sword here. And he's gonna jam his sword into the the crack between the lids, and he's gonna try to pry it open with his with his sword. This would be using weapon or tool effort. So like when you're attacking somebody with your sword or your bow that's a weapon, or you're using a tool to like pry something open, bandages to cure a wound, or tech uh, to kind of seal off a door, you're using that tool effort, and that's a D6. So for example, Drew comes over and takes care of, you know, what's happening, and he's going to roll a D6, and only rolls a 1. Obviously, if he has a weapon bonus, he could add to it, but we'll just say that he rolls 1. Now they've dealt five points of effort to that chest to open it up. Now the next one is a D8 and that's gun effort. So this is anytime you're using a gun or a firearm to deal damage, they're quite devastating, a step above those weapons and tools and you can use that gun. So if like Alex came over and said, I'm gonna try to just shoot the lock off with my, with my flint lock pistol. He's gonna come up, make that attempt and he's gonna roll four points of effort, right, to shoot that lock off. This is quite a sturdy lock, but we've now dealt nine points of effort to that that chest. The, la the second to last one is magic or energy effort. This is a D10 whenever you're casting magic or arcane energy. Maybe you, in your tech world you have plasma or energy or laser weapons. Maybe you're healing. It's a D10. So Chris finally gets fed up with these with these guys dealing with all this stuff, he walks over and just like, let's let's take care of this once and for all. He casts his lightning bolt spell, rolls the cast against the target with his bonus. He gets past the 12, and now he's going to roll a d10 and deal 10 points of effort to this chest, which is more than enough. He only needed one. So now this chest is open, and they have access to the loot or whatever was inside. So together, using their attempts and their actions, they were able to apply effort to that chest, and once they did, they eventually succeeded and were successful at the task over a period of time, rather than it's just a binary yes or no, which is what makes effort so good. It extends certain actions over time, and that will come into play with timers later on. Now, the last kind of effort is ultimate. Now, ultimate is using a D12, and there's kind of two parts to it. The first 
is that anytime you roll a natural 20, a critical success, so Sarah over here, there she sees everybody, you know, dealing with this uh, this chest. They're dis uh, distracted by the the loot, but she sees these fishermen coming, right? And she's going to attempt to attack one of them um, before they get there. And say instead of a 17, she rolled a nat 20. Well, she'd get to roll her normal whatever her effort was. So say she's attacking with her her knife. That's a d6. She would also get to add a d12, an ultimate die to that d12 that that d6 so now she's rolling a d6 and a d12 adds them both together including the bonuses and then deals that much damage in an ultimate attack kind of a highlight there but ultimate is not just restricted to critical successes like you can have things or actions that do ultimate effort so say Sarah was exceptionally good at knife throwing and she, her aim was true. She's taken a couple milestones. She's just kind of been experienced. Perhaps instead of rolling weapon effort, whenever she attacks with her throwing knives, she rolls ultimate. Or JD has this sundering smash with his sword. He rolls ultimate instead of weapons or tools. Or Alex with his firearm, he with his you know rifle, he does ultimate instead of guns. So ultimate is not just adding on top of, you can have that as its own case of effort to really describe this is the ultimate thing. This is my maximum amount of effort that I'm putting into this thing. And so together between basic weapons, and tools, guns, magic, and energy, and ultimate, you're using all the different variations of dice and their size kind of indicates how quickly you could accomplish something. Basic will take more time. Ultimate has the potential for be done very quickly. And then from there, it becomes a question of how much effort does it take to accomplish a certain thing? And this is where hearts come into play. So a single heart of effort is worth 10 points when it comes to effort. Now, the question is, why is it 10? Well, ICRPG proposes and suggests that you want to include these numbers that actually mean something. The difference between 11 and 12 is not substantial enough to really in, you know, take up brain space. So rather operate in rules of 10. One heart equals 10 points. They're interchangeable, right? It's, it's kind of shorthand. So that chest was a one heart you know, challenge. And that can be a way of describing players instantly know, oh, that's gonna take 10 points of effort to achieve. Or it could have been a two heart chest. So it's going to take 20 points of effort, and it's going to take longer. Um, these creatures here, these fishmen, could be one-heart fishmen. This big one over here could be a three-heart fishman. And that's just going to quickly describe how many hit points, how much effort it takes to accomplish the task at hand. So for the chest, one heart takes one heart, 10 points of effort to accomplish the task at hand, which is opening it. This creature is three hearts. It's going to take 30 points, three hearts of effort to accomplish the task at hand, which is killing it. These kind of things are useful for a GM if you're trying to extend out play. It's not meant for everything. Sometimes you do want to have just those binary checks, yes or no. But sometimes if there's timers involved or kind of pressures going on and you want to extend out what's happening, include hearts, require tasks to take effort and use it as a tool to elongate and kind of facilitate the time of the timing of this the scene at hand and that's where it's going to really come to play of magic users complete things faster basic you know takes longer but maybe have bonuses and it's just a whole slew of tools that icrbg provides to help facilitate more dynamic play and that's where hearts and efforts come in is it simplifies in certain areas but provides new and more complex and more dynamic ways to play. Now that's effort and we've talked a lot about rolling dice but let's get moving away from actions and let's talk about movement in the next video.